Hi all, I am Hằng. In this video, I will continue with uh, the first law of thermodynamics. I don't uh, remind about the previous video, but I remember exactly in this video, I will continue uh, with the uh, adiabatic process. So, uh, keep in mind that for the first law of thermodynamics, we focus on three quantities. The first one is the change of internal energy, the second one is the heat, and the last one is the work. And here, to uh, this equation for ideal gas, I remind you, and this formula for the, the internal energy, I remind you, because they used to read these formulas from ideal gas lecture 4 so now we just apply it so take a look on uh, adiabatic process what does it mean that means that the heat of, uh, during the process is always zero so if the heat is zero so you see pressure here p volume v and temperature t uh, change with respect to time all of them change with respect to time so now um, if you want to write the equation so it's a, a bit mathy. You apply the the uh, the knowledge from math a lot to to write the equation. Later I will prove it. So you can see it uh, in this process. What do we have? The equation almost different from the previous processes. For example, isobaric or isovolumetric or isothermal, we base on this equation to to write the equation for each process. But, but uh, for adi uh, adiabatic process, so we cannot base on that information. Now, we focus on three quantity. The first one is the change of internal energy. The second one is the heat. The last one is the work. We can immediately calculate the heat because the uh, character of uh, adiabatic process is the heat is equal zero. If the heat equals zero, so here you write is zero. That means the work uh, equals the change of internal energy like this. And we know that the change of internal energy here you write delta T here because uh, N R N is constant, R is constant, I is a constant. So the change of internal energy is the change of temperature. So you here you write delta T. Okay. Next. Uh, firstly, I consider I over two. What is that? Uh, uh, let's talk about this uh, quantity first. Gamma. Uh, we call I call this one is the, the ratio of specific heat. Whenever you hear ratio, so you have to get the one uh, divided by the other. So if I talk about the ratio of specific hits, that means you get the specific hit uh, CP uh, divided by the specific hit CV. Uh -huh. uh, from previous videos, you know the information for CP and CV then you get the result of cp divided by the result of cv so you have this formula uh, in, another, I ch uh, in another way to write so i can get gamma equal one plus two over i from here i get uh, i move one from here to the other side of the equation so i have a gamma minus one equal two over i uh, or if i want to write uh, I over 2, so here will be 1 over gamma minus 1. So here, I have, if I have a I over 2 here, so that means I have a 1 over gamma minus 1. I write it here. Next, NR delta T. If from given you have information for delta T, so that's good. You can apply this formula to calculate the change of internal energy or the work. But in case you don't have this information, so how do you do? Uh, usually, if you don't have the information for the delta T, so uh, you base on the this equation for ideal gas to calculate. You base on the information of pressure and volume. If here you have a, uh, uh, if here you don't have a, um, information for temperature, so you see, uh, you have n r delta T. So here you write n r delta T. That means here you have a delta of P V. Delta of PV. If delta of PV, that means you get the final PV 
minus initial PV. In another words, you get P2 V2 minus P1 P1 V1. So you have a NR delta T. Okay. So you can apply this formula or this formula based on the given. What do you have from the given? Okay. So uh, I I will make conclusion for this slide. In this slide, we have an adiabatic process. What does it mean? That means the heat equals zero. And you apply the first law of thermodynamics. So you have uh, the formula for the work. And actually, that is formula for the change of internal energy, like this or like this. The more important you have the ratio of specific heat is the gamma. Gamma equal this formula. And this one I remind you about the CP here and CV here. You can calculate it this way or you can calculate it based on the ratio gamma here. Okay, next. In the next slide, I will show, I will make a conclusion about the specific heat, CV, CP, the ratio gamma. Yeah, okay. Now, the, the, in this slide, I will prove the equation is important. The equation for adiabatic process. Uh, what is that? So it it's a bit mathy because we have to understand uh, uh, something related to integration or the uh, many things. For example, so I will explain explain right here. But if you don't understand or you have a question, you can email me again. Okay? Here, firstly, we have the, uh, the first law of thermodynamics instead of delta U. So I now I consider very, very small interval. So I have a du equal delta V plus PdV. That means I consider PdV is the, the work and the work is very small. dW equal PdV, okay? And here the heat. Here I don't write the the sign D like this, but I uh, instead of D like this, I write like another uh, sign like this. This one means hit hit is a a number. So if you write D, you take the the derivative of a number, so you will have zero. So here I I cannot write D like this. I write like this. So that means this one is a very small quantity. Okay. Next. If adiabatic process, so mean it means that delta Q equals zero. So I don't care about delta Q anymore. Uh, now I focus on delta U and PTV. Okay. Now how do we calculate the um, the delta U? Uh, the delta U equal uh, in this case we we rewrite it delta U equal minus PTV. Okay. How do we calculate the DU? We take a look on the formula of the internal energy of the system. Here. If you write du, so you have i over 2 and r dt because i is, is a constant, it's a degree, it, it's a degree of freedom and it's the number of moles, r is a constant. So du, that means i over 2 and r dt. So I rewrite it right here, okay? Next, how do you, how do you calculate n r dt? You base on this formula. You take the derivative of this side, both sides. So you have n r dt. And when you take the derivative of the sign, uh, so because in uh, adiabatic process, P and V uh, change with respect to time. So when you take the derivative of this uh, uh, P time to V, so remember, you have to do by this law because you apply the math. You take the derivative of each of them, okay? So you have PdV plus VdP equal nRdt. So instead of n r d t here, you see, uh, so you will write i over two uh, p d v plus v d p like this, okay? So you rewrite it. You rewrite this one, or this one down. So you have like this. Now you move this part to this side of the equation. So here will be zero, and here you have this result. Next, you divide both sides of the equation by PV, so you have this uh, new equation. Now you do the integration. So here you have uh, the natural log of V and here you have a natural log of P and here is a constant. So you rewrite this result equal PV to the power of gamma equal constant. 
So this one is the equation of the adiabatic process. Okay, now take a look on this one. If from given you have information for PV, so you uh, P1, V1, P2, V2, so you apply this equation. But from given, you don't have information of P, but you have information of T temperature and V volume. So how do you, re you have to write another equation related to volume and temperature. How do you do that? From this uh, equation for ideal gas, you get the P through V and T. And then you put it right here. And you have uh, this new equation for adiabatic process. Process In that process, you just have a temperature and volume. So, next, if from given, you just have information of P and T. P and T. P is pressure, T is temperature. So, how do you write the uh, equation for adiabatic process? V here, so you take a look on this equation, you get the V from the P and T, and then you put it in this equation, and you have this equation. So from this equation, if from given, you have T1, P1, T2, so you can calculate P2. So this equation is the main point you have to remember. After that, you have to remember this equation. So based on the given, you decided whether you use this one or you get P from this equation put here to have this equation. Or you get V from this equation to put here to have this equation. Okay. Okay, let me see what do I have. This one is the summary of uh, the first law of thermodynamics. I put it here. I don't repeat it anymore. Uh, it based uh, it, the equation here and the chain of internal energy here, the gas, uh, the work here, and the heat here. You should remember. I remember that I have uh, one big example for almost three, uh, three processes, but that video in Vietnamese. Uh, you, if you want to have an example for this first term, first law of thermodynamics, you can take a look on that example. It covers almost uh, uh, the the knowledge for for uh, the first law. Thank you for listening.